Okay. Interestingly enough, I had a phone call today with the uh, guy, uh, LDP Dan, as he calls himself, who mods uh, sensors. <coughs> Excuse me. And converts them to black and white, and also either leaves on the IR pass filter, or he does uh, ultraviolet conversion, or true monochrome. Interestingly enough, someone who knows less than nothing posted a uh, Petapixel article today. <coughs> Excuse me, got a cough. Um, talking about uh, black and white versus color, like who the hell cares anymore? Just shoot color. Uh, there's no difference between the two. Look, here's this image and it's converted to black. No, 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 no. Now, the one thing, now, I'm no Leica fan. Not, well, I mean, I owned a few Leica film cameras back in the day. I don't hate Leica, but, you know, I'm the first person to joke about Leica snobbery and their overpriced cameras and, you know, the frou-frou stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. That Leica people buy, like, oh, my God, I got an alligator skin cover for my <laughs> Leica. Uh, but the article makes fun of a, uh, they call it like a bombastic or a, pom uh, a pompous uh, video, <coughs> excuse me, uh, for the Leica monochrome camera. Well, that's interesting. Now, there's the one Leica camera that actually serves a purpose rather than being just an overpriced piece of pompous uh, camera snobbery. You see, the Leica monochrome doesn't have a color filter array. Oh, yeah, girlfriend. And uh, I was joking with the guy today who is a god of sensors. Does all this stuff with sensors. I was like, can you believe this? This is ridiculous. There's a huge difference between, like, you know, like, if I already enter my Fujifilm, do a black and white film simulation. Okay, that's great. Nice. Good enough. And a true... I did a test with a monochrome X Pro 1, like, a half a year ago. I showed people this one boring image, like, holy crap. That's what a real monochrome camera does. So this pompous article is making fun of the Leica monochrome, and basically the premise is, I said the article on the link below, that there's no difference between color and uh, monochrome. Yeah, you know, you can do convert, you know, so uh, what's the big deal? There's a huge difference. That color filter array blocks out low-gain intertonal detail. I mean, it, there's a huge difference. Imagine if every lens that you owned had... Uh, a, a filter permanently glued on the end of it. What would you say? You'd be like, oh, geez, well, that filter cuts down on the light and the tonality getting to my sensor. Yeah, and you'd be right. The thing is that all your sensors out there, if you have a color sensor, whether it's an X-Trans or a Bear array, there's a filter. It's called the CFA that sits over top of the sensor. That cuts down on quite a lot. <laughs> light sensors natively before they stick all that crap on there like the IR pass filter and the color filter ray since you want to take color photographs sensors are really sensitive and they stick that stuff over there and you, you think well you know they're really, really sensitive they are still really sensitive but it cuts down on quite a lot of light the difference is just absolutely astronomical the article is a, a bombastic mess um, people were buying into that listen 99.99% of photographers out there have A, never used a true monochrome digital camera, and B, if they held, well, what's the deal? You know, I could just do a black and white film simulation of my Fuji right here. It's not the same thing because a simulation is, <coughs> excuse me, a simulation, girlfriend. When you remove that color filter, right? I hope to God Fujifilm's listening and they make a damn monochrome camera. For God's sakes, Fuji, make a monochrome camera. You know, there's nothing special about it other than signal interpolation and a little bit of change in the menu system. The only thing they're doing is not adding something. The guy that modifies those damn cameras, like old X-Pro ones, he's not doing anything to the camera. All he's doing is removing the color filter, right? Slapping the sensor back in the camera and screwing it back together. Not saying that's not a huge feat because being able to do that without destroying the sensor in the process is hard. He's told me about the extreme difficulties of doing that. But there's, you know, he just, he just mods the sensor and slaps it back in there, which is, like, I'm not saying that's an easy feat. But, I mean, if one single guy could do it, I'm pretty sure a billion-dollar company like Nikon or Fujifilm could do that crap. Fujifilm has the versatility to do that. Nikon doesn't. Um, 
And the issue with making a monochrome camera, of course, is that you first have to be able to tell people what the hell is like, Why? Well, I do black and white film simulations, the same thing. No, it's not, girlfriend. It's not even close. There are a lot of examples online of a true monochrome conversion. While I have no love really at all for Leica Digital, the one camera that I would love to own from them, damn it, is a Leica monochrome. Is because that camera is something. It's not it's like, hey, it's got a little Leica sticker up here and it's got a, it's made by, it's made by uh, Germans. Jawohl! It's like, yeah, I don't care. That's not worth $18,000. <laughs> you know, it's got, well, it's got leather skin on the front and, uh, on the back of it, <laughs> no. overpriced digital cameras containing Japanese electronic components. Some of them are German, most of them are not. I assure you they are. So that article from Petapixel is wrong. It conflates, um, you know, black and white is just like sensor and simulation. Well, if that's the case, then that would be correct. But it actually sticks in a video clip about the Leica monochrome. And, it, and right above that video it says this is a pretentious video. It says something like this is a pretentious video from Leica about a monochrome only. The person that wrote that article has no idea about a color filter, right? And the magic that opens up, ha 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 ha! You know, remember when Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz opens up the door? Wait a minute, that's a bad example because then everything turns to color. It'd just be an opposite, like Dorothy was in color and then she opens it up and it's true monochrome. The person who wrote that article doesn't know what they're talking about. Doesn't know what a like it. I mean, this the presumption that a like a monochrome is like just a, a color camera that's just like forced to only shoot black and white. That's not what the hell that camera is. Ignorance. Loser. Peace out, Girl Scout. That article sucks. It doesn't suck because I think it sucks. It sucks because it's wrong. You know, that's the other thing I can't stand about stupid people. The one thing I really hate about stupid people is that, like, well, you, that's your opinion. It's like, no, it's not my opinion. It's a fact. It's like, this is one example. That article sucks, not because I say it sucks. It sucks because it's wrong. Period. Not my opinion. It's just, it's wrong. Peace out, Girl Scout. If you like these videos, always click the link below. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. Bye.